thing come to mind when we ask for a finance strategic moment? Yeah, you know, the thing about this one, I go back to my time at IMAX. And so when I was hired at IMAX, the company was coming off of two very strong years in the midst of a third. They had just taken their Chinese business public uh, in Hong Kong, and that had produced a bunch of capital. And the mandate for the new CFO and why they found me attractive, it was going to be external. It was, you look at ways to drive growth, add legs to the stool, acquisitions, partnerships, those kind of things. Um, in my first handful of months, I did the you know, sort of normal onboarding and diagnostic. I also joined that in August and so went through a planning process, which was helpful. And then early in my second year, so it's sort of, you know, five months in or something, um, myself, along with the CEO, Rich Gelfond, we kind of were looking at the numbers and, you know, noticed that, you know, some of the trends were moving against us. Um, and I went back, did a bunch of work on it and came back and sat down with him and, and said, look, I know the mandate was X, but I'm concerned. How do we think about, you know, sort of an early warning system? Like, what do we use to make a decision? Are we still headed in the direction we we wanted to be, or are we pivoting here? And you know, Rich had been there forever and tremendous intuition on the business. And so he kind of agreed where I was coming from and said, okay, look, let's look at the next three titles that are coming out and we'll monitor our performance on those. And if, if we find that we're in a position where you know, we're not on track, then let's have a real conversation. And he said, but go get ready for that real conversation now. Like <clears throat> if we end up in a spot where we need to pivot, Let's start working on it. And for me, it was sort of the moment was, okay, I was hired to do one thing. Feels different. And always remember, the numbers don't lie, right? Like, and that was the framework that, I, that Rich and I came up with is, okay, look, let's just create a little scorecard, a short-term scorecard, and we'll hold ourselves accountable to it. And if the numbers tell us to do something, we're going to do it. And I... The moment was sort of, especially coming from banking, right? At banking, all numbers go up and to the right, right? And look, we all have sort of these strategies and narratives and we're all biased to believe that, you know, wonderful things will happen. And, you know, in the finance situation, like always remember the numbers don't lie and ask your peers on a leadership team, like, okay, if that's true, whatever it is, if it's true, is it in our numbers now? When will it be in our numbers? And it, look, it's not about, look, there's a very constructive way to have those conversations, right? It's just about the, the initiative and, and sort of remembering that, ask those challenging questions, you know, help people recognize that the sands can shift underneath us pretty quickly. Um, and then from the CFO slot, like you can't just ask the question. You've got to be willing to roll up your sleeves, dive in with your business partners and help them figure it out. Like what is the pivot we need to make and how do we get at it? Um, so. That was the one for me, like that, that recognition that, huh, you know, this is a, this can move pretty quickly and you've got to make sure that you've got the, the resolve to ask the tough question and then the follow through to build sort of buy in to what the solution is.